Okay, we're gonna go ahead and solve this problem. In this problem, we are asked to calculate the pore water pressure at point X, right here. We're gonna be using four equations that I discussed in the class to solve the total head that's equal to pressure head and elevation head. Second, Next um, is the flow rate equation, and the lastly, the continuity equation. Now, uh, I will start with defining the total head at the two ends of the total heads at the two ends of the soil. First of all, the total head at point A. Total head at point A is the distance between the datum and the water level. In this case, 12 plus 42 centimeters, that is 54 centimeters. And for point B, the total head is, in this case, the distance is 42 centimeters. So delta H between A and B is 54 minus 42, that is 12 centimeters. And from here, <coughs> uh, we actually know that total head loss between the two ends of the system is 12 centimeters. Now, we cannot define a single hydraulic gradient because we have two different soils here. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to define the, to uh, the change in total head between A to C. Delta H A to B is equal to total head change between A to C, which is delta H A C plus delta H C B. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> we know that because the total head reduction from here A to B has to be summation of reduction in energy or reduction in total head between A to C plus C to B. Now, I'm going to, uh, this is my first equation. Uh, uh, next equation, I'm, I'm going I'm to keep this in here. Uh, next, next equation is I'm going to utilize the continue to equation here to find delta H A C in terms of delta H C B. Now, we know that continuity equation, uh, uh, states that Q in is equal to Q, Q out. In this case, uh, Q at A C is equal to Q at C B. I'm going to write the Darcy's equation, uh, K1 I1 A is equal to K2 I2 A. This is basically the Darcy's equation. Since the cross-sectional area remains the same, this these two cancel out. We know that K2 is twice K1, so K1 I1 is equal to 2 K1. I2, that's given in the uh, in the problem. These two will cancel out and we will come up with this uh, equation which where I1 is equal to 2I2. I'll write the I1 in terms of delta HC, the delta HAC divided by the length AC. I1 is delta HAC divided by LAC. That's equal to 2 times delta H C B divided by L C B. Now L A C is not 12 divided by uh, the sine of 45. So delta H A C divided by 12 divided by sine 45 that's equal to 2 delta HCB divided by okay so these sine 45 will cancel out each other so as a result delta HCB becomes this is 9 if I divide this by 3 that's 4 if I just divide by 3 that's 3 now the delta HCB becomes 3 divided by 4 delta HAC. So now I wrote down the delta HCB in terms of delta HAC and I can plug that in here.
okay um, delta H A B is equal to delta H A C plus 3 over 4 delta H A C this becomes delta H A B is known that is 12 so 7 over 4 delta H A C is equal to 12 from here delta H A C becomes that becomes 6.85 seven centimeters between A and C. Now that is equal to, if I write it down here, H A minus H C is 6.857, then H C becomes H A we know that's 54 centimeters minus 6.857 that is e so the H C is 47.14 centimeters now we can write down the hydraulic gradient equation within the soil 2 which is from C to B that is I2, that is delta H, C to B, divided by length C to B. That's also equal to the same within a soil sample. That is delta H, C, X, divided by L, C, X. So we can write this down. Delta H, C, B is 47.5. 14 minus HP is 42 divided by LCB is 18 divided by again HC is 47.14 minus HX divided by 9 divided by sine 45 9 is given in, the, in here so these two cancel out this is 2 uh, as a result, HX comes out to be 44.57. So this is the total head at point X. Total head. Now, uh, elevation. elevation head, as I said, is for ZX is 9 plus... 12 that is 21 centimeters the pressure head at point x is total head minus the elevation head that comes out to be 23.57 centimeters at point x becomes simply 23.57 centimeters i'm going to divide this by 100 to make it in meters times 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cube that's the unit weight of water that comes out to be 2.31 kilonewtons per meter square and that will be the solution